Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are having a great week or it had a great week depending on when you're watching this video. Um, if you're new here, welcome to Living with the Bradleys. I've got a new grocery haul for you. Right now I'm just giving you an overview of what we got. So I'm going to start with our non-food items. Um, we did do Walmart grocery pickup again because again, trying to stay on budget. So I had to get Luna some cat food. And this is the Purina One Healthy Kitten Formula because Luna is still a kitten. She will be one in April. And yes, we are going to have her a birthday party. Um, needed some fabric softener because we are almost out. We like the downy in the cool cotton. Um, also picked up some laundry detergent. So bought this for the first time about a month ago, I guess it was. And I figured if Arm & Hammer, you know, was good enough to make cat litter that handles Luna, it could, you know, make some good laundry detergent. And I was right. It works really well. It doesn't irritate our skin because we do have sensitive skin. So I really like it. And it smells good, too. And the last non-food item we got, um, we needed some sandwich bags. So picked up a um, box of those. They're the double zipper, and it's a box of 100. So yeah, those are the non-food items that we got. And moving on to the food items. So picked up another box of the Nature Valley wafers for the husband. It's the peanut butter and chocolate. You know, he likes to eat these um, on his 9 o'clock break at work. So picked up another box of that. He was also out of his tea and his Gatorade. So he likes the Gold Peak Sweet. Um, we normally get this in um, a big case from Sam's Club, but we don't live as close to Sam's Club as we used to. So yeah, we just get the six pack from, from Walmart and keep it moving. The Gatorade is like the lemon lime flavor. I'm not that big a fan of Gatorade in general, but... The husband likes it and it keeps him hydrated, so that's what matters. Um, picked up some of the Simply Organic Doritos. You know, we've been liking the, the small bags, or at least the husband has, I should say. So he eats that as a little snack when he gets home from work. And he has to share with Luna because she loves those chips as well. We have a strange cat. If you did not know, our cat's a vegetarian. <laughs> we picked up some Heinz barbecue sauce. It's the Memphis sweet and spicy. And that's because I'm trying a new recipe this upcoming week and you will see it. And I'll tell you more about it when you take a look at the meal plan. Picked up some orange juice uh, because we needed some in the house. We were out. Picked up another bottle of the cranberry ginger ale. I'm so glad that they're keeping it past the holidays. Makes me so happy. Um, so now we're going to get into the produce and the frozen foods. So as far as produce goes, got another five pound bag of russet potatoes because we are out. Picked up some bananas and I don't know who picked out these bananas, but y'all, they did such a good job. Like I would have picked these bananas out myself. So I'm so proud. Um, Walmart, whoever this associate was that packed my order, they were on point. Praise God. Uh, <laughs> picked up some great tomatoes for salads this week because that's what we're going to be doing for lunch, me and Shay. Picked up another bag of avocados because Shay and I really enjoyed having avocado toast for breakfast last week. So picked up some more. Um, got a bag of apples. These are the Gala apples. These are going to be for juicing and snacking. Got a pound of strawberries just for snacking. And then over here we've got some fresh spinach, and some green beans because I needed the green beans to be fresh as opposed to frozen like I normally get because I'm going to roast them. Um, as far as frozen foods, didn't get a whole lot. So I know what you're saying. Dandria, I thought y'all were on a pescatarian diet. For the most part, we are, but you cannot do like a, a fish parmesan, like a salmon parmesan the way I want to do it. 
So I'm going to do like a, a cheat version of uh, chicken parmesan next week for as part of our meals. And look, I, 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 I miss my chicken. Eating chicken, you know, one time a month or two times a month or whatever is not going to kill me. <laughs> so that's why we have those breaded uh, chicken breast patties. And yes, they are great value. Um, picked up two bags of the broccoli florets for dinner this week. Uh, picked up some shredded hash browns for a, a breakfast casserole that I'm making the husband. So that he'll have breakfast before work. Picked up some crinkle cut French fries. Um, that's also for this week. Because we're just, you know, yeah, we love potatoes. Y'all know how we are. And I, Luna... So I just accidentally bumped Luna. She wants some attention. So if y'all heard her meow, that's why. <laughs> um, picked up another bag of sugar. As you know, we don't do um, the regular white sugar. You know, just trying to avoid enriched stuff when we can. But sometimes you just can't. And when you're on a budget or trying to keep to your budget... You got to do what you got to do, which brings me to these very big loaves of enriched white bread. Y'all pray for me. I know we 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 are doing pretty good because this is the only thing that we have um, other than these hamburger buns right here that's enriched. Everything else is pretty good. You know, Whole Foods, we, we're doing pretty well as far as trying to stick with a lot of fresh things. So, you know, it's just that white bread sandwich bread you can do so much with it like we like to make cinnamon toast and it just doesn't work with those seeded breads or those grain breads it doesn't taste the same and then you know the avocado toast tastes so much better on white bread I'm sorry it just is what it is so for those of you who you know don't like enriched close your eyes close your eyes and then last but not least the dairy items so picked up another gallon of milk because we inhaled this last gallon. Me, Shay, and Luna just like tore it up. It was ridiculous. Picked up some more sliced cheese because we needed some more. We have like just a few slices left in the fridge and we cannot run out of sliced cheese. It just doesn't happen that way. And then I picked up an 18 count of eggs this time instead of a dozen because the breakfast casserole I'm making for the husband requires um, about 10 eggs. So, and Shay needs egg for her avocado toast this week. And we're going to make brownies. So, you know, there's going to be some baking going on. So that is it as far as the grocery haul, guys. So uh, stick around. I've got the meal plan coming right up. All right, friends. Here is our meal plan for the upcoming week. It's for Sunday, January 31st through Saturday, February 6th. So for breakfast, I'm making the husband a breakfast casserole. And then Shay and I, we're going to have oatmeal um, and avocado toast this week. So we're just going to kind of alternate like we normally do. For lunch, the husband is going to be taking leftovers to work. Shay and I will be alternating between sandwiches and salads. And our sandwiches most likely will be grilled cheese because, you know, cheese. For dinner, we are doing um, roasted veggies and biscuits on Sunday. I have a lot of um, fresh produce in the refrigerator that needs to get eaten up. So that's what we're doing. And I have those uh, red lobster cheddar bay biscuits um, that I'm going to make up. We've got the biscuit mix. I'm going to make those up because, yeah, it's been sitting in the pantry for a little while. And, again, shelf cooking. Jordan Page. Woo -woo. Moving on. Monday, we are having chickenless Alfredo. And, yes, you heard me right. I've got some of those chickenless strips in the freezer and I'm going to cook up the black soybean um, noodles that I have and use that last jar of Alfredo sauce. So, yeah, chickenless Alfredo. And we'll have that with some garlic bread. Tuesday, we're doing shrimp Buddha bowls. Wednesday, we are going to have lentil sloppy joes because I still have some of that um, lentil sloppy joe mix that I made uh, last week. So we're going to have that this upcoming week. Uh, Thursday, we're going to do salmon Buddha bowls. 
Friday, we are having barbecue sandwiches. So the barbecue is going to be completely, um, <laughs> yeah, vegetarian because I am going to try my hand at making jackfruit. Yes. So I'm going to cook the jackfruit and use that barbecue sauce that you saw um, in the grocery haul. So hopefully it'll be good. This will be our first time having jackfruit. I'm excited and nervous. So say a prayer. And then Saturday, we are going to do the chicken parmesan um, and do that with probably roasted potatoes and um, some kind of vegetable. I don't know yet. It'll come to me. But yeah, so that's our meal plan for this upcoming week. And I'm excited. It's a lot of cooking, but eh, it is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It would really help out our channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Bradley family. We would love to have you um, because for us, the more the merrier. And hit that notification bell while you're at it so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know about it. Last but not least, make sure you follow us on social media. We are at Trippin' Bradleys on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a very blessed day and a blessed week. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.